So you may have gotten yourself one of these. It's a Gardner Bender GDT3190 multimeter. And it says it needs a 9 volt battery, which makes sense for its digital setup. But you're looking at it and you're going, where do I put the 9 volt battery in? Uh, you open this up, and this is really just to hold it up nicely if you wanted to. So if you're confused, what's going on is this is a nice, uh, very durable uh, plastic covering, and I'll show you how to remove that and then ultimately get into putting in your 9 volt battery. So start by this portion is something that can easily come off, as you can see the plasticky parts showing up, so remove that. And then you're going to want to go ahead and get butter knife. So as you can see, it's on there nice and tight. You want to take a butter knife, slide it through. It's going to throw you off a little because it's so like, whoa, I'm breaking this apart. But that's what allows you to pull at this and slowly but surely you can remove that plastic covering. So the plastic covering's off, and guess what? We're not done! As you can t see, two very small little Phillips screwdrivers, so time to get out those mini screwdrivers to remove them to get to the 9 volt battery area. Alright, so just using our little mini screwdriver to get that out. I'm using uh, zero, 00 on the uh, Phillips. There you go. And as we remove it, you can see there's the part where the 9 volt needs to go in. Alright, put it in, 9 volts in. Now, let's put it all back together as we did. Now to just put the plastic back on, you want to make sure to line this up like it once was when you put it on so that way that little handle, or excuse me, um, kind of holder up portion can get put back in. All right, put on pretty firmly if you really want to smash it down, but I'm tossing this back in. So that way, hey, if you want it up like that, it can be done. That's in nice and firm with your plastic, and now Let's say we were to turn it on, I don't have anything plugged in, but you can see the battery is working to turn things on if needed. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's off here, turned on to something, and then when you actually plug in, uh, it should be working just fine. But the battery's in, all well and good. Uh, any further questions on putting in a battery? Yeah. This Gardner Bender makes it a little more complex and provides no instructions, so uh, hopefully this video was a help for you if you found yourself uh, getting a new one and the situation arose.